Okay, here is the second Idaho bull I took. Uh, took him a couple years later after that first one. I think the first one I took in 06. Uh, had the tag in 07. We just got there a little too late. Bulls had kind of shut up and uh, weren't talking much. So we didn't didn't have much luck. I think uh, brother-in-law's dad shot a five point. But we couldn't find any big bulls. They pretty much quit bugling in that country. It's a tough, tough go when they're not bugling. So uh, this bull in 08, I shot him on the same ridge as I shot that six point. He uh, bugled a few times, went down and got in the big timber and bugled. And uh, on this ridge, he piped off a couple of times and he, you could tell he was coming. So uh, gave him a few more bugles. You could hear him going kind of coming up the hill. And uh, he came in, came in like you'd want him in archery season. Except this is rifle season, and uh, shot him at 38 yards, right through the shoulder blades. Um, he dropped right on the site, and game over. Uh, while we're working on this bull, there was another bull on the next ridge over from us. So we hurried and got this one cut up, and headed after that other bull, and the other bull brother-in-law's buddy was across the canyon. He said that bull was huge. He's like, he wouldn't surprise if he wasn't pushing 400. He said he had cheater crown points sticking straight out, super wide, had super long times, huge sore times, but we never did catch that bull. But, but yeah, this bull just getting set up in the right spot, having the wind right. Getting to a spot we can see. That's key to a lot. I mean, most of these elk is being in a spot you can see. Um, that's what I really, really... You know, encourage people to do is get to a spot you can see. If you can't see him, there's no point in being there because um, you can't shoot. But this bull had a pretty small window but made it work. And like I said, it was super close shot with a rifle, so it wasn't too bad. But uh, he was pretty easy to get out. We used a chainsaw winch. So there were some logging roads up above. So we just used a chainsaw winch and pulled him out whole and got him to a four-wheeler and drug him to the pickup. So it was one of the probably one of the few – like maybe we got one other bull we got at hole, but this is the only other one we've got at hole. Everything else gets cut up. So anyhow, pretty good Idaho bull, general season. Um, it's not like that anymore where we used to hunt, unfortunately. And you can't, like I said, you can't get tags. It's hard to get tags. So but I was pretty happy. Decent bull. Tag out on a general tag.